So Xiao Sing Chao, this is your friend James in Olympia, Washington State, United States of America, my friends in I uh, hope I got that right. So Xiao Xing Chao, which we want to start including the languages when we do this stuff. So I want to encourage you, um, before we begin, let's go ahead. I want you to hear the language, what we're gonna discuss, because it's like we want so this is uh, Google Translate, so if it's bad, you know, go blame them. So let's begin. It is May, and I want to encourage y'all this month. Um, one, don't be afraid. Fear stops people from doing all sorts of stuff. You know, from being nice to people, from taking, from starting, from applying for a job, for beginning a relationship that God's given them, for doing a dream and aspiration. Parents in fear force the children to do stuff because they're afraid the kid won't have money, you know, you know, in the future. So they force the kid to do something that the kid's not even designed to do. And then the kid's miserable for the rest of their life. They're making a hundred thousand dollars a year. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, I don't even know what the thing is. And, uh, what is the currency in Vietnam? The Vietnamese dong is the currency of Vietnam. Okay, the Vietnamese dong. Okay, yeah, so a hundred, uh, you know, say one million dong, you know, a year as a lawyer when they could be making 300 million dong a year as a baker. So many times fear will stop people from doing things. Fear of the coronavirus, you know, fear of, fear of uh, death, fear of rejection. You know, that's why they don't do it. You know, many times, you know, it's, it's not good. You should ask God who to date. But, you know, really. But, you know, a lot of people don't go towards an application for a college. They don't go towards things because of fear. You know, and parents like that, they supersede fear. Oh, you're not going to make it. You're not going to be a successful football player or whatever. You know, quit it. You know, you know, we call it soccer in America. But I was actually thinking about American football. But, you know, there's soccer. Oh, you're not going to do this. So just quit that. But see, fear has stopped people from doing things. It's stopped people from sowing seeds. Stop people from giving. They're afraid they won't have money, so they don't give to their kid. It's the kid's birthday. You're sowing into the child's life, but many people aren't sowing because they're afraid. So fear constricts. Fear causes heart problems. It constricts the muscles. It deteriorates health. It stops people from pursuing. It makes people draw back. So don't be afraid. Two, evaluate the past. Look at what happened in the past. This is something you've been doing all the time. Has it worked for you? Should be diet, exercise, um, your schedule, your work schedule, your relationships. How's that, how's that working out for you? <laughs> how's your relationships working out for you? Because what we want to do is encourage you, how's the relationships working out for you and how's, how's it work? People sometimes are so busy in the present, working, 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 thinking about the future, they don't analyze, is what they're doing working? Is your exercise program working? Are you actually losing weight? Analyze it, you know, <laughs> is this company, the person who said they were going to help you, you were going to be spiritually further along in life. Your family was going to be happy. The woman said, guys, the woman said, uh, if, you, if you date me, we're going to have a wonderful family life. You know, let's have our plan. Let, let's, let's buy a new house. Has that plan for saving up or believing God for finances more appropriately? How, how's that working for you? Many times people don't, can't do any, can't fix stuff because they're not analyzing. Is it actually working? Is their government working? Is the government paradigm working? Is this is the save if they're saving money, is that working? Two, three, one, don't be afraid. Two about past three, consider the present. My friends, I want you to consider the present. Uh, many times people are they're stuck in the past. Some people are still living in 2020. Um, some people are just off in the future. Oh, kids, they're just thinking about the future. Well, can't wait till I get married. Well, you're like uh, 12 years old, so why don't you pay attention to the class? But, you know, my friends, consider the present. What can you be doing now? What's the you supposed to be sowing now? Parents, many times parents are not thinking about their child now. They're thinking about the child's college, the child's future, but they're not thinking that the kid's eight years old. Play and spend time with your family now and your kids now. Spend time with your friends now, the people you're working with now. So many times people are like, they join a company and they're like, well, this is just a stepping stone for my next job. But they forget the relationships that they could be doing now. Enjoy the time with your family now, your friends now, your colleagues now. Who can you be helping and blessing now? Someone comes into your store and they don't have enough change for something. Well, you can help them now. When you're instead of throwing out your food, why don't you find a food shelter and drive your leftover food from your restaurant 
to the food shelter, you know, to a homeless home or to an orphanage. There's stuff you can be blessing and helping someone now. That kid, that might be the first time that kid has had sweets in a long time. But see, what can you be doing now? Many times people aren't thinking about what they can be doing now. What can they be building now? Because what you're building now establishes the future. So focus on now. Faith is now. What can you be doing now? What are you supposed to be doing now? Enjoy now. Family, friends, grandparents, calling people. Uh, consider the present and for press on to the future. Many people don't go forward in life because they're afraid. Some people are stuck. Don't be stuck in a treadmill. It's always good to do inventory once a year, once a month. Come on, come on, guys. Once a month or once a year. You know, you should at least do that, you know, so they can press on. It's time to get a new focus. If, you know, if it's time to do something new. If you have a dream, do it. How many people, dreams and aspirations in the world never come to fruition because they are afraid? Not good, guys. Bad business. And they don't do it. How many restaurants could have been started? How many great things and inventions could have been done because they're afraid? Uh, you know, they, or they just don't pursue it. They want to be a dancer. They don't pursue it. They want to be a cook. They don't pursue it. They want to be a politician. They don't, they don't pursue it. They want to own an orphanage. They don't pursue it. They want to be a filmmaker. They don't pursue it. They want, I mean, come on, want to be a manager of a grocery store. They don't pursue it. Want to have a restaurant. They don't pursue it. How many restaurants haven't been started globally? How many dreams have not been achieved because people did not pursue, they did not press on? There's an, there an American businessman that was broke three times, like two or three times this dude was broke. What if he gave up? He wouldn't have been a billionaire or whatever telling us how to, you know, whatever. How to, in America, how to, how to never give up. Remember Winston Churchill during World War II when socialism and communism, you know, were working together. Germany socialism, uh, fascism in Italy, and communism in Russia. They were take, trying to take over the world. Well, the Winston Churchill said, you know, you know, never, ever, ever give up. He was the one who said that. He had to live through that time. He was the head. He was the prime minister of England during that time. So never, ever, ever give up, my friends. If you, you know... If you don't go forward, if you don't pursue it, we'll never enjoy it. I love you and live with me.